Hey guys, welcome back to Brunette Confessions. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I am going to be giving you guys a tour of my apartment, so come on in. So the first thing you see when you go up the stairs is the living room. We're gonna get to that. And then you have here the kitchen, a little dining space, and some extra space over there in the back. We're gonna get to that, so let's start in this area. So in my kitchen, I have a ninja blender, an air fryer, toaster, that middle machine there, I don't know what to call it, but I use it to make my broccoli. And I will show you what's inside the fridge, but it's a whole lot of nothing, so there's no point. So this area right here is probably my least favorite. I feel like it just needs a little bit more life. And I mean, I can like change the centerpiece and add a little more things on the table, but that means I have to be moving back and forth whenever I want to sit and eat here. And I don't have time for that, so it's staying like this. Maybe in the future I will change the table and probably get like a glass round table better. We'll see. But I really do like these acrylic chairs. I bought them at El Dorado for like $60 or $70, I don't remember. The table is from Ikea, it was very cheap. I was rolling on a budget, it was like 100 something, or less than 100 most probably. Now the centerpiece, I had the mason jar and the decorations, I bought them at Michael's. They have a little craft section where you just pick and grab whatever you want to make a centerpiece. I, for some reason I thought it would be cheaper if I made one myself. Turns out it was probably more expensive than if I would've bought one. So, that didn't work out as planned, but whatever. Anyways, that section over there in the back, it was supposed to be my filming section. I was gonna make it like a little, not studio, but like to have my little setup there whenever I wanted to film my videos. I did try it in the beginning when I first moved here and it was a complete disaster because the area was just too dark and the videos were not coming out right. So for now, it is going to be used as a storage space. I have my ring light, I keep it back there, my vacuum and things to clean. They're all in that little section right there. So now to one of my favorite parts of the apartment, the living room. So this area actually took me the longest to put together because it's the one that required a little bit more extra stuff, little decorations here and there. And little by little, you know, I would see something I like, I would buy it, but it's not something that you can just buy and put together straight out of the bag because sometimes you don't find the exact decorations you have in mind, you know, the ones you're looking for. So I did know that for a fact, I wanted the color scheme of gray, gold, and white. Once I kind of put that together, it looked very dead, so I had to bring another color into it, and I went with blush. I'm not a fan of pink, but I've got you know, cozied up to it a little bit, and I really like how it looks when I put it all together. So, the couch is from Ikea. It was like $800. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it is not the most comfortable thing you would ever sit on. It's a little stiff, but you know, it'll do. Over here, this opens up, so then you have like a big, like, rectangular type of thing going on. I know that section, you can put it up so it can be used for storage. The coffee table is from Target. So is that table, they're the same, just different style. Um, the rug is, was actually a gift, but I know they do sell it in Home Goods, and I've actually seen this design other places online. So you can find that. My little bamboo plant is actually the only real plant you'll ever see in here because obviously, you know, I don't have to be watering the plants, I forget, so they die. But this one is actually real, I got it from Amazon, and it doesn't require much work, or much, you know, much to take care for, so I'll survive in this environment of mine. So this little area right here is one of my newest additions and it's probably the final addition to this area. I actually took it from a birthday party, it was a centerpiece, shout out to Mari, came in clutch. I love how it looks, I feel like it brings so much light to this little section right here, so I love it. And then my little table here, the console table, is from Ikea, very cheap, like $100. They have two drawers, some space in the middle, and I have some fake plants on there. I'll show you guys now. I have, this is from some, this frame is from some store in, I forgot what it's called, 
but it's in Wynwood. My TV, my little deer, I actually got it in like Christmas season, so it's a Christmas decoration, but it's gonna stay there because it still, it still works, still works. And then I have some cute little plant over here. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more, a closer look. This is obviously fake. And then I have another plant over here, which is <laughs> fake. Also, the pillows, the white ones are from Macy's and the blush colored ones are from Home Goods. Now the wall back here, I really wanted to do like a cute thing with different frames, but then I figured that's a lot of work. I'm not gonna be here for that long. There's really no point. So I decided to stick to one frame, which looks exactly, and I believe it is, Kylie Jenner's like lip kit. For some reason, I don't know. I just like the lips and how it looked. The design just looked nice. And they were like blush colors. So I went with the decorations and I bought it off of Amazon. So that's that, and that's my famous mirror for selfies over there. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more, and I have like a shelf to this side. I'm gonna show you what I have there as well. And this is uh, actually doors for a balcony. I wanted to put like cute curtains and stuff, but you know, there's no point. And then the balcony size is actually a pretty good size for like nice furniture out there. But it's not like I have a view, so there's really no point. And I'm, and I'm never here, so I'm not gonna go outside and sit down, you know, enjoy the view of the beautiful parking lot and the cars around me, so there's no point. Not gonna happen. So now let me show you guys that section back there. So this is where I take my selfies right here and then oh my tripod back there oh yay this is the frame i was telling you guys about it just looked nice here with my already color scheme that was happening so then this is my shelf this i got on amazon they do light up these two little things here i got it from once again my cousin's birthday party decorations they were on the table Shout out to Mari again. This I got it in Target. This I got it in Amazon. Once again, a party decorations. You know, that party really came in clutch, I'm not gonna lie. This a cute little frame I got from Target. And then I just printed out that little quote, Mujeres can do anything because <laughs> you already know we can. And then I got some fake plants over here. Um, I got some pictures there from when I was in DFAE, my FIU grad pick, some 15 pictures right there, and then this pretty one is from when I studied abroad in Spain. And then that's a whole empty shelf. So that's pretty much for this little area right here. And now for my second favorite part of this apartment, the moment you guys have been waiting for where the sleep happens. If you guys think I'm a messy person, I'm sorry. I promise you I'm not. I'm actually very organized. But you know, your girl is a little lazy, not gonna lie. So my room furniture is actually what I spent the most money on because I specifically wanted mirrored furniture and you know, like a white bed or mirrored bed or something. So, you know, mirrored things are not very cheap. I did get it all in a Dorado, and it is like a set, I believe, but I didn't buy the whole set. I just bought a few pieces from the set. So, this area, this right here, I actually had this back at home. I had, turns out, I remodeled my room back at home in June, and then I had to move out in October. So, I basically bought furniture twice and remodeled to rooms in the matter of a few months but it's all good I brought this piece with me it originally did not have the light I bought the little bulbs at um, Amazon it was like $20 and you stick it around the mirror so that helps out not the best quality I probably need to put some li more light in there because I'm still kind of blind still can't really see that much my makeup when I'm doing it there but whatever it works for now so Back at home, I actually had it without this little piece, so I just used it as a full-length mirror. But right now, I already have a full-length mirror over there, so I really don't need to use it that way. So, yep, this is my vanity. Over here, I have my makeup. I am missing a lot of things because I am currently living 
out of a luggage since I'm always going back and forth between here and Miami. So all my makeup is in here, but it's all good. So then I bought these little round things. Uh, they're from Michaels with the little balls inside from Michaels as well. I bought these little pieces from Bed Bath and Beyond, I believe. I got this one. Uh, I think I found it like a Marshalls or Ross or something. They're like acrylics. I like that. I got this at, honestly, where did I get this shot from? I think it was at the container store, but I don't remember. For the necklaces, a lot missing here. For my glasses over here, I did get that on Amazon. A lot of glasses missing. I have them on my luggage. That's my watch. Um, just drawers. And then here is where I have like some of my, I don't think you guys can see it, but I will zoom in later. I have all my earrings there. There's a lot missing there on my luggage, but that's usually where I have them on. And then this acrylic chair is from... Hmm, I had this back at home, so I don't remember. I think I found it like at TJ Maxx or something. TJ Maxx. So over here, this rack, I bought it when I was back at home because things didn't fit in my closet, so I needed an extra space to hang things, so I had it. I brought it here with me because it could come in handy and the room was a little plain so I needed a few more things so it's actually a big room bigger room than I thought it would be so yeah I have my so some sweaters in there my gym stuff gym bag my purse so these curtains are like velvet and they hide a lot the sunlight in the mornings I love these curtains I think they look so nice they are from Target I believe actually are they Jennifer I think they are from Target very nice love them a lot now to my bed. The bed is very, very, very plain as you see. Is that I honestly I'm just here to sleep. Like I'm barely ever home. So I just haven't given much thought to it. Buying pillows or a nicer comforter. I just sleep with this one, so it's all good. And then I have a nightstand with my lamp. It is from Mozzarato as well. All of it. Honestly, I don't remember the prices. I know the most expensive piece would probably be the vanity, which is like a thousand something. But everything else that I remember, I love this bed. I think it looks so nice. It has, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. It's like there's like crystals in the back. It's really cute. And that's a much about it for my room over here. I've always wanted a walk-in closet, especially since back at home I had like one little closet and everything was just crammed up in there and I just hated that. Like I wanted to have my shoe section, my purse section, and all my clothes nicely organized. And well, now I have a walk-in closet, but it's not as I imagined it. Come on in. So it is a hot mess in here. I will show you guys a little bit more than just this section in a minute. I did bring my shelf with me. I had these back at home. I have some shoes here. I'm missing a bit because I have my luggage, which you'll see now. And I have this other shelf here. This is from Target. This is from Ikea. This is actually a very nice shelf. And I have my purses there. I'm missing a few. There are my luggage. And I have an extra rack there for shoes and my gym shoes. I'm going to show you now. I just have my work clothes here. I don't have my going out attire and my, my extra clothes and not this was I would actually be a little bit more cramped up and yeah this is just stuff that I wear for work my work pants some extra bags up there and these are my gym clothes I do not have extra drawers to put them in so for now this is where they're gonna be but I do plan on buying like another like dresser the same like mirrored type as my room furniture and put it in there but that will be in the future so yeah, this is what I'm working with right now. So once you exit the closet, you have the bathroom right here. I like that it's inside my room. So I don't feel like you'd be leaving my room in the middle of the night to use the bathroom. Um, let's see, let's start by down here. Rugs are from Home Goods. This is handy dandy for hair stuff and put your things in there. This is from the container store. I don't know what that is from. Home goods, I have a hot mess over there, please don't judge. I am living off from that little bag because I am moving constantly between here and Miami, so all my things are going inside that bag, so it's a hot mess. And then here is the toilet, 
boom boom this is my laundry yup ignore that it's all good and yup my shower is in there pretty big old shower good size and that's about it oops my tripod is there it's well guys that is all for my apartment tour i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you liked any specific piece or have any other questions or something regarding interior design not the best but you know i will help out of anything just leave your comments below and yeah i will see you guys soon bye